so why do you want to hang around watch this episode well what i'm going to do is show you what it's like to motor home in a city we'll show you the actual site that we stayed at we'll show you where to go for an erotic renaissance 3d wax artwork although we didn't actually go at least you'll know where to not go come and have a look with us anyway never know it might be fun what's your story what's your sign it's like we're twin flames in a different life deep connect Look at these sweet little numbers, aren't they cute? So it looks like they've had their hood dropped, but they haven't, that's standard. It's amazing. Oh, look at this one over here. Come and see this one. It's gorgeous. Look at that windscreen. So we're at the Castle Fellini, and that's the Castelli, because I can say that one. Um, it's, a, it's actually a, a Saturday, and there is a festival going on. So you can see it's really quite busy. Pretty good, this is just the front garden, and that's not rude. And now we're going to see the back garden. He's a lovely boy. Beautiful baby, look. It's all right, darling, it's okay, hello. I have no idea who these people are, but I'm hoping they're important. This is a toy museum. What I did need to point out, however, the toy museum is right next to the, to the wax Renaissance erotic 3D art exhibition, which is really weird if you ask me. I saw a picture and it was like wrong. We finally stopped after, was it 9,000 steps? Yeah, so we need a local drink. This is the local drink, the one of, them. one of them. Yes, so that's the one we've got. We found this cute little place. This has even got doilies on the table. I love doilies on the tables. No, seriously, I do. I think it's sweet. Bye. Well, Matilda's getting a bit of a treat today. We are going to the Onkisolago Automoso, which is also a self car wash. Funny that. And yes, it's pink. So you can see where you've been. Must be doing a special for white cars today. <laughs> well, pink cars. <laughs> I'm here too, but he won't let me use it. Oh look, she's all clean. What a clean girl. Very nice. We found a darling campsite for the night, which usually turns into more. And it's uh, mostly inhabited by German people. And the one thing you know is if there's lots of Germans, it's going to be a nice campsite. So it's a fair indicator and it's always very friendly too. So here we are. Oh, Winja, that's Harley as usual. Staying in the shade, not good Australians. Well, Australian. It's really hot and we found somewhere to take the dogs, but really just by chance, we went into the local marina and there was a little ramp. So they had a nice swim. So we ordered fish and chips, and look what we got. Fish Hake. and chips. Hake as well, mm -hmm. which is really lovely. So yeah, we can dig into that. There was Lake Fallerton. <laughs> we, we've had difficulty getting to the edge, to be honest, because it seems a lot of places are owned. We've stopped at a service station because we're supposed to have a special vignette. In Hungary, it's called a matrika or Matricia vignette. We haven't seen anywhere yet that we can buy one. We did ask and it seems to be you can buy them at some of the Gazol stations, which is obviously petrol. Wish us luck. 
it looks like he got one. <laughs> Whatever it is. He said 10 days and then I saw a week, but we do have one. Oh, that's excellent. By the way around, it was 3,800. Four pounds? Eight, eight quid. Eight quid. I got it around the wrong way. Okay, well, that's good. At least yeah. you got it. Well you done, darling. What's the song about Budapest? That's a Budapest. Oh, that's right, yes. 600 meters, slight right onto Morsia's 15th turn. <laughs> him on camera. Budapest. Budapest. Well it's certainly got a lot of bridges. That's the Danube by the way. I haven't seen the Danube before. Hello Danube, how are you? I'm all right Kim. Something else that sounds like Harley. And this guy thinks he can come in our lane right now. Yeah he does. He's a, you know what taxi jobs are like. I was married to one. Proper tram. Now a lot of people won't take their motor home into a city. Now if you do your research and well basically check everything out beforehand you can actually stay in cities. There's often places. Are there compromise? Yes they are. Now for example this is where we're staying at the moment in but we are about two, maybe three maximum kilometers out of Budapest. Now, as you can see, here's, there's parking for, you can actually get one next to that red one, believe it or not. We couldn't do it because we haven't got the turn. So one, two, three, four, five, which is exactly what it said on the web page. Here we go. And this over here is where you get your, you've got your electric, your water, your wastewater, everything's there and chemical toilet just down there. How legal it all is, we don't know. And look, we don't care either. <laughs> so, yeah, right in the middle. Hang on, let me turn this around again. Right in the middle, look. Now, it wouldn't appeal to everybody, but it's got electricity, which means we can take the scooter off, get into the middle of Budapest, and the kids can be in aircon. So we've got two or three straight hours. Well, we got in out. City. And we've only been here a few hours, so we're just having a quick look around. Can't take dogs in the park. Not the one here. Not the first one. I'm sure we'll find somewhere else. Is it a doggy? Is it? No, no, it's not. Right, so here we have it for you. Euro shop. 494 inch shop or as in England we call it, the pound shop. <laughs> Puffed out doggies. We'll get them some water in a minute because we walked right into the middle of Budapest. Budapest, Budapest. Yeah, it's very important you say it right because they don't like to call it right. Have you seen the length of that tram? That's six carriages or six bits long. Like a sit big caterpillar. From the outside, it looks like this. It's home to us. The thing is, we've just walked into the centre of Budapest. I'm not complaining. Oh, so what's it like? You're coming home. Mr. Exhausted. Yeah, it's nice here, though, isn't it? Here we are. Coming home is amazing. Once you shut that door, it's like, okay, we're home now. Especially when the air conditioning is running. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It might be 34 outside, but it's not in here. <laughs> we're having to leave the girl behind today because she's got a sore arm. Or, you know, leg. And, um, yeah, so we've left her in there with the aircon on low and a radio. And uh, we're pretty sure she should be fine. She's really limping, so she doesn't want to do a big walk. But it means we've got to sneak Harley out while she's not really looking. So his, this is us sneaking. <laughs> we found another Pegasus. This one's called a Taltos, or just Taltos. And uh, it was the emblem of our school, wasn't it? Pegasus? Yeah. So we thought we'd take a photo. All right, we'll go. <laughs> Sounds like it's clapping to itself in unison. Yeah. 
Well, if they're allowed to take Harley on one of these, we're going to take one of these out. Harley seems to be okay with it. So, 5,400 visors, what extreme, extreme luxury. Yes. About a First time I've driven, driven a left hand drive. Oh, yeah, this is on the wrong side, <laughs> isn't it? Harley, what do you think of it? Is it good, Harley? Is it good? Yeah, it saves me walking. We're at Margaret Island. And I think I explained before this bait. Oh, it was me. Ah. Basically, this goes down the Danube. What are we going to do? Where's the bus? Let's see. How far away? I'm trying to find the brake. There it is, on the Oh, look at the other train. Oh, and the bus. Oh, the other one's busy. <laughs> Traffic jam. He's Good in shape, right? Jeez. The going fast. Did you want to get wet? No, not particularly. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. Yes, it's coming, it's coming. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh no, really? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Margaret Island Open Air Theatre. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, he does. He hurt his leg trying to get in here. Do you like my socks? Okay. There's a mini zoo here too. Oh, look, to say the least, not a great lover of zoos, but look, it's got mostly domestic animals. Oh. I'm sure most of them have been rescued. They've been pushed off the road by a mini train. <laughs> Hippie Island? Yep, it's called Hippie Island. Now I know a few of my friends would find that fascinating. <laughs> the Steg Pub. Mm. Paul puts his foot down. Oh, it's just on or off basically. And I nearly fly off the back. This is flat out. Ooh, 8 kilometres an hour. Seems like 50. Lots of cycling tours you can do around the city. <laughs> What's he doing? He's being a Muppet. He is being a Muppet. Yes, more stairs. These beautiful arches, they're gorgeous because they're not, you know, traditional symmetrical ones. Yes, I'm weird. We know that. That's where we're going after all these stairs. The Fisherman's Bastille, isn't it darling? It's wonderful peak of view, sort of view though, across the river. This is the view I saw in the tourist brochure, which I was particularly attached to. This is obviously under restoration because everywhere I go, there's the restoration. Well, after a little bit of waiting, it wasn't too long, we managed to get into the Panorama Bar. Don't know why they call it that. Okay, it's gargoyle time. Dun, dun, dun. I know I'm going to zoom in, but look at those gargoyles. They're so cool. Look at them! Well, I, I have a revelation. It's a lot easier on the way down. We've just spent a bit of time looking around the fisherman's bastion it was really delightful and now we're going back to our dog because she's in the aircon we need to get back quickly though i do think the castle in disneyland is actually slightly older than the castle <laughs> bastion. Maybe. it looks like it was made yesterday it really otherwise does. it's very very clean <laughs> it is <laughs> going out we're going to a pinball museum every town should have one Oh, because that sets it on. It's got to be done by hand. Otherwise, the kids, when they have their disco, <laughs> it sets the alarm off. We're going to be out till one or two o'clock. Are we? No, no, we're not. <laughs> well, we found it. It's in the basement. Is it open? This question. Look at Museum. Pinball Museum. There you go, that it. Oh, downstairs. Hello. Two, two please. Yeah, it's 8,000 and 400 for two. Thank you. Uh -huh. Special tickets. Oh, it's so cool. It's got a bar as well. This place is amazing. It's so fun. Gotta watch the steps though. Oh, this is the proper pinball area. Got a smile on your face.
face. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's, let's choose one. What have we got? So it's Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Uh, that was great. Uh, yeah, that's all inclusive. How much was it? About uh, 10 quid? Yeah, it's about 10, 10 euros. 10 euros. And obviously you can spend all day here, all evening as it were. It doesn't open till four. Look at that, look at that concentration. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Dracula. God, gee. So this is a normal size pinball machine. And this thing is like twice as big. Goodness knows why. But it's huge. And there's Guitar Hero. They're having great fun. Dad and daughter. But okay, this is my first one. Okay, thanks. Look, it's got a whole enterprise and everything. These ones here look a lot older. I mean, look, they've got the numbers that tick over. And the old bag of tail. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen those in years. They're real museum pieces there. Oh, we've got arm wrestling. <laughs> How cute. And an early foosball. In fact, this one's amazing. It's only got two. You've only got the goalies. Okay, Paul's going to play Apollo 13. Blast off. play I didn't mean actually play I meant he's going to let the ball go down the middle <laughs> so which is your favorite Apollo 13 <laughs> that was it Apollo 13 wins I preferred Star Trek <laughs> yeah all right now what are we doing darling um I don't know I think we're going to see the night night going to see the night night so, okay all right Paul's just pumping up the air suspension because it was very difficult, not difficult, but made a lot of noise getting in here because we bottomed out, as did all the long ones in here. But fortunately, we know that we can get through. It should be easier going out forwards as well. Now we're going to listen to the grind, even though he's pumped it up. Good stuff. Slowly, slowly. Ooh, very slowly. Oh, I can see it almost touching. Look how close it is. Look at that. That did well. Very well indeed. Excellent. Okay, I have to get on board. Bye. And off we jolly will go. What do we say? We say goodbye to Budapest. 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 Uh, absolutely. Not Bucharest. They get up, stay up, they get confused. Bye bye, Budapest. Bye bye.